What is going on, everybody? Jay Hayes here. So today, I'm not going to be giving you a review. I'm actually going to be... I had to cut up the live that I did and take it down because there was a lot of people complaining about the freezing. So this is not too chopped up. It's just a lot of dead space that was in it is now on the rest of the video. I talked so much about the freezing and people talking about it in the chat. There was no need to keep that video up. So without further ado, I present to you whatever this is. Let's do it. Things have changed dramatically from what they were before. When I'm saying dramatically, I'm saying dramatically, like the law has changed. VTA had posted, listen, make sure you call, make sure you email. Absolutely sent the link to that. The questionable thing was whether or not there was going to be a meeting at 9.30 and 11 o'clock. Well, the way it stands right now, there's only an 11 o'clock one. There's not a 9.30. Let me show you what I'm talking about. But real quick over here, these are this is what's happening Thursday, January 9th. So you have this one at 9.30 in the morning, then you have this one at 11 o'clock. These other two don't really apply. So we click this one at 9.30. Now, when you look at this, this is the Senate this is the earlier one at 9.30. There is still nothing on this. The 3178 is not on here. Also, the 5923, 5293, five something. Either way, it's not on here. However, once you go back, so now we're over here and guess what? There's 3178, 5922, and then you have 5923. So there they are. There's the three things, 5923, that's the taxes, okay? 5922 is kind of a big deal, but the big one is this guy up here. And this is the one that has changed. Now, when I say that has changed, I mean it has changed. So this is the new law. It's the new bill, I should say. Up here, these are your sponsors. These are the people that are co-sponsoring it. And that was the updated as of 1213. Quick recap of this bill. This is for people located in New Jersey. That is absolutely marquee to what I'm saying. New Jersey, well, and anybody that buys from New Jersey, this will also affect. So let's just go down it. No person retailer, either directly or indirectly, okay? So what that means is you come into the shop, that's a direct, indirect is you go to my website, you buy from it. Neither or, directly or indirectly. Now, anything that is underlined has been added or amended, meaning that has changed. Or by vending machine owned by retailer located in the person retailer's establishment, like this, shall sell, offer to sell. See, this is where it gets me right here because this, in my mind, tells me, off, like online, like buying something online. But then they go into stat in the establishment, but it says or, so it's or, shall sell, offer to sell, distribute for commercial purposes, pur pur purchases, purposes, both of those, both of those work, at no cost or minimal cost or with coupons, rebates, offers, gift to furnish, person any electronic smoking device or any cartridge or other component of the device or other related product including liquid nicotine that has a characterizing flavor that has also changed okay prior to this you were able to get tobacco mint menthol clove everything else was included in that characterizing flavor which is fine. Well, it's not fine, but it still allowed you the option of selling that. Now, keep in mind that this can change again. I It could change in 10 minutes. So, but it seems like every time this changes, it doesn't get better. It just includes more terrible news. It's like watching cars burning with people inside of them over and over and over again. That's what it's like watching. They talk about the fines, okay? Now this is for each occurrence. So if I sell once in store, that's that's a $250 fine, right? $250. No, 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 it's not $250. It was $250. It's $500 now. So it'll be $500 second time. Now, if I do five orders in a day, that's not one offense. That's five different offenses, right? Then they talk about banning, removing your license. But and for the fourth and each subsequent violation, not less than 1,000 and a three-year suspension. 
and a three-year suspension. So if I do eight of them, okay, or if I do five, because four and then the fifth one, that would be a uh, six-year suspension and a $2,000 fine. You have to understand that, okay? Uh, for the person's retail driver dealer's license issuing pursuant to whatever, and then they quote the law. All this has not changed. It's all the same. Okay, this is, do you see the little two underlines right here? Right here? Bang and bang. These are new. The, these right here are new. This one, and I don't know why it's not highlighting it. That's nice. So, okay, well, this one and this one are new. So they included mint or menthol. So these are the flavors that I cannot carry. But it's it's also impossible with the way that this law is written to do flavor shots. I'll explain in a second. Characterizing flavor means a distinguishable flavor, taste, or aroma, aroma, including but not limited to any fruit, chocolate, vanilla, honey, candy, cocoa, dessert, alcoholic beverage, herb, mint, menthol, spice flavoring that is imparted prior to or during consumption. You got that. Prior to. By an electronic smoking device or other related product, including liquid nicotine or any smoke or vapor emanating from that device or product, an electric, electronic smoking device or any other cartridge or other component of the device or other related product, including liquid nicotine, shall be deemed to have a characterizing flavor if the device, cartridge, component, or other, basically anything vape-related, okay, Marketing has a problem, and he says, whatever. Listen to this. Characterize, again, underline. Characterizing flavor does not include a naturally occurring flavor that has not been added to an electronic smoking device or any cartridge or other component of the device or other related product during the manufacture or distribution of the electronic smoking device or any cartridge or other component of the device or other related product. Okay. Um, I don't know what a naturally occurring flavor is. I'm assuming they mean tobacco. They don't mean mint, menthol, even though mint, well, a lot of flavors are natural, aren't they? Vanilla, that's a natural flavor, but they're, they're meaning tobacco is what they mean. Not mixing it, just tobacco by itself. Okay. <sighs> So this is also including it for hardware. It's not just the juice. There you go. Electronic smoking device means an electronic device that can be used to deliver nicotine. Any device that can be used to deliver any aerosolized vaporized substance to the person inhaling from the device, including but not limited to an e-cigarette, e-cigar, e-pipe, vape pen, or e-hookah. Electronic smoking device includes any component, part, or accessory, other device, and any substances that may be aerosolized or vaporized by the device. Whether or not the substance contains nicotine, electronic smoking device does not include drugs, devices, or combination of products authorized for sale by the FDA. So, that is your PMTA. That's exactly what that is. So, if you have a PMTA for a product that is approved by the FDA, even though this law says you can't have it, but in sort of a way you can because if the FDA says it's good to go, you have the green light to sell it in New Jersey. Liquid nicotine means any solution containing nicotine, which is sold for use with an electronic smoking device. You got that. Any solution containing nicotine. But they also state in here whether it contains nicotine or not. I'll get to that in a second. Here we go. Characterizing flavor other than tobacco, but not limited to any menthol, mint, wintergreen, clove. You see that? Literally, all you got is tobacco. That's it. Tobacco. Any device that can be used to deliver whatever, whatever. Electronic smoking device, whether or not the substance contains nicotine. So if I was to sell zero milligram grape, no good. No good. Can't do it. Uh, or PGVG. Can't do it. Flavoring. Can't do it. I because, and, and I know the argument that a lot of people are going to say is it's not that big of a deal because, well, what about bakery shops or stores where you can buy flavoring? The intent is different there versus here. You're not going to go into a shop right or a Pathmark. If you're probably watching this, you're from New Jersey. You're not going to go into those saying, okay, well, well, majority of people won't. I need to get vanilla for vaping, right? You're going to go into a vape store to get that type of flavoring. 
I'm telling you what is happening in New Jersey. It's a little bit different from what I posted three hours ago. What is different is it is actually going to be heard on the 9th. And then what happens is it does say on the bottom that it's effective immediately. So once that passes, right, they can combine that bill in 3265 into one and then give it to the governor. He signs off on it. And whenever he signs off on it is when is it effective? That could be the same day. That could be 24 hours later, 48 hours later, but it's going to happen. I'm not trying to be a negative Nancy. It's going to happen. And then what that means is once the governor signs off on it, I can't even sell it online. I'm literally stuck with the products. So do I, as a business, sell all my products after that meeting between January 9th and 10th? Or do I hold on to them hoping that we somehow override the governor like they did in Michigan and just hope that I could sell the products eventually. So the way it's written, you can't sell outside of the state right here. No person retailer, either directly or indirectly, directly or indirectly. So if someone walks into the store, that's directly out. Indirectly would mean you call me on the phone, you, you, we do an order and then that's it. Well, with the stock is basically is whatever I have, that's it. It's over. You have to keep in mind by the time that this goes to the hearing, it could change. It could. Whether or not it will. Okay. If you have a shop or you have, let's just say a wholesale company and you're out of New Jersey, what I think is going to happen if, if this goes through, there's going to be a lot of places that are going to pack up and move to a different state in desperation. What other options do you have? You can see that Massachusetts just went through this. They just went, they literally just went through this. I think they had less time to act though. They had to what, 12 o'clock? I'm sure that there's people from Massachusetts in here. You had to what, 12 o'clock? And then after 12 o'clock, everything that you had for sale, you had to get rid of. If you're based out of New Jersey, man, I have no words of encouragement. Why can't you just pack up and leave? Okay, well, let me explain. First off, to pack up everything, and just bounce to a different state. You guys have to understand that it's not that simple. It's not as simple as just packing everything up, taking the shelves off, opening up in another state just for this to happen in that state, right? Like it'd be one thing if I was a wholesaler or a distributor to where I could just kind of port over, right? It wouldn't be super easy, but it would be easier than a retail establishment, you see? Because First off, I have to register with the state, number one. You have to get a state business license because you have to file for state taxes, okay? I, I have a federal employee identification number, but that's not going to help me opening a business in whatever, Delaware, okay? So no matter where I go, you still have to do that. Then you have to get a place. Then you have to move everything in. And then you have to hope that nothing happens because, well... I think that's common sense. But even judging by the way it writes in 3178, I can't, I don't even know what the, the like the glass shops are going to do. Because it said pipes, right? Did it say pipes or e-pipes? It said e-pipes, e-cigarette, e-cigar, e-pipe, vape pen, or e- Like, what is it? What exactly is a vape pen? Is, is that just an ego pen? Or is that an all-in-one device? Do you mean the batteries like that you screw anything onto? Let me, you guys don't know what I'm talking about. Hold on. Like when, what does that say on the screen there? Captain Pepper Jack. What is this? Why is that on my screen? Why are you there, Captain Jack? <laughs> Nobody said anything. I didn't see it. Oh. Uh, <laughs> okay. Um, but not limited to uh, a vape pen or e-hookah vape pen. So let's just say you stay open in New Jersey, you continue to sell your little pens and technically by their law, by the way it's written by the bill, you can't sell that. You sell five of those, that's five violations. When is it all effective? The hearing takes place on the 9th, the 9th of January. So Thursday, two days from now. The crazy part is, is it was supposed to be heard by the Senate as well under 3265, but that is not there. However, that could change within the next 20 minutes or right now, right here, the 9.30 a.m. one. 3265 is not there, which is the Senate version. A3178 is there and all the other ones. So it goes to assembly, that goes to a vote, and then it goes to Senate, Senate votes. No, assembly, 
House, Senate. But again, this could all be 10 minutes. You already have them in the other room. I don't know, man. You could see this as quick as the 9th, which is going to be extremely unlikely because that would mean that the governor has to sign it that same day. I'd say as early as the 10th, as late as the 14th. There you go. There's a window for you. We watch this with Massachusetts. The only difference is, is the respective person for that state that is their representative, I guess you could say for their reviewers, wasn't kind of broadcasting it live like I am. Whether it is a Nick shot, a flavor shot, it cannot be sold here. The way that the law is written now, right now, whether it has nicotine or does not, the, the intent, the intent is the key. You're a vape shop, right? But the thing is, you can't even mix. You understand? The way Jersey law has it written now is it doesn't matter what it is. If it's in an e-liquid container that's taxed, that's already in their verbiage. So, and they already know, like they already know all the states that have been paying taxes. Uh, I'm sorry, the, the, the business that have been paying taxes. So they already know about the vape shops. But in that 5923 or 5922, they talk about just walking into a shop and then just looking at all your receipts right now, which is basically like an audit type of deal. The way that the law is written now, it will be worse than what it is in Massachusetts. Massachusetts, you, I, I, I haven't looked at their law. If someone has that law, like their bill, like what I was just showing you, 3178 for Massachusetts, I would love to compare the two of them if it says indirectly, because I know that there's a lot of Massachusetts shop that ship out of Massachusetts to non-Massachusetts. Apparently they do it and it's fine. And they, they're they're very much aware of that. But the way Jersey is, I wouldn't be able to ship to anybody. Nothing. I would have to shut the open sign off, steal the, st steal the stickers. I'm going to steal my own stickers off my windows, and then I'm going to sell those because I'm going to be broke as shit. Uh, <laughs> I would have to take the stickers off. I would it, would. it would basically just be closed. When the governor signs off on it, the business is closed. It's that simple. It literally doesn't get any simpler than that. I don't know how many other places in New Jersey, business-wise, know about this. They should. I don't know what they're going to do about it. What I'll have to do is just basically close the doors. And then hopefully, it, 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 I don't know, somehow gets appealed or some kind of stay. It used to say person. Now it says retailer. It's bad in New Jersey for businesses. It's not bad for consumer in New Jersey, which seems so broken. And so no person retailer, either directly or indirectly by an agent or employee or by vending machine owned by the person retailer or located in the person retailer's establishment shall sell, offer for sale, distribute for commercial purpose at no cost or minimal cost or with coupons. So they're saying no free stuff, right? Like no free samples. That can't be done. I don't even know why they're talking about furnishment, like f furniture. <laughs> I gotta find light at the end of the tunnel somewhere. They're literally covering everything. Severus Medina says coupon could mean sale promotion on an unrelated part, like I buy a hat and get a vape. Yes, uh, yeah, sure, sure. Like that little ad we saw where you buy a car and then you get an ego pen. That was literally a real ad. So something like that. As far as banning other flavors, no, they're not banning it for you to have. Like, for instance, great example. Everything on this shelf, I own, right? Like, I had to buy it, so it's mine. I would be able to vape forever with what I have. That's not illegal. Me selling it as a retailer or distributor, wholesale, wholesaler, manufacturer would be illegal. Online sales. No, Ahmed, uh, I will not be allowed to do online sales. Nope. Nope. Cannot be done. If the law stays the way that it is, or at least that bill stays the way that it is. <laughs> don't don't get this twisted now. What are you laughing at? It's you. Why? <laughs> you said don't get this twisted. Yeah, don't get this twisted. Don't be like, Jay's quitting. I'm not. God, listen, it's going to take a whole lot more than shutting down my shop to get rid of me. That that's not gonna work. I'm I don't know how the reviews are gonna go, but I could tell you that if I sell products, I, I can still buy it. I just can't sell it. So that I'll still be here. That this it's just a store, which a lot of you people don't buy from anyway. So what the fuck do you even care? <laughs>
Like, what does he even care? They're like, who gives a shit? That's he's still gonna review my sub ohm tank. Like, you don't even give a shit. I hope he's still breaking stuff. <laughs> so, 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 what the fuck? It's not like it. <laughs> it's not like <laughs> You guys don't even care. Eh, whatever. It's fine. I'll still get my review on. Look, I can still make a joke about it. Whatever. Whatever. Look, this is going to sound very, very, very depressing what I'm about to say. I have prepped for this for so long. So long. I have been ready for this for so long. When we went back 2000 and what was that? 17 when we went to Trenton. Mm -hmm. New Jersey was one of the first states. Th this is a fact one of the first states to try to implement a flavor ban. And they were gonna remove flavors because it was attracting youths. At that point, I realized, okay, this is serious. We went to a totally different place in Trenton though. It wasn't where we went last time. Totally different place. We were all out there protesting, you know, Greg Conley spoke up. Uh, I would say there was probably, I don't know, 200 people. This is, this is older. And then it just kind of went away. Like it just, you didn't hear anything about it. And they ported everything over to 19 years old. Okay. Then that something happened where they were like, you know what? 19 is not working. We're going to go over to 21. This was in November of 2018. And then it's just been that way since. Of course, there's been hints in it. We've had these little, little rallies, these little things. I've been prepared for this. Well, I mean, how, how can one be prepared to essentially go out of business? I, I don't know if I'm going to say go out of business. I'll just be closed. That's it. Closed. Everything will still be here. I just cannot get rid of it. And if it remains that way, I have no idea what I'm going to do with it. Because I can't give it away for free. I'm going to be vaping the shit out of Cookie Twist. I, I, don't, I, don't, know, I don't know what I'm going to do with it. I'm not one to break laws. Okay, I'm, I'm not one that's going to deliberately go out of the way to do things that are criminal, that can get me fines or get me to go to jail or I, I don't I don't like crimes. I, I don't I don't want to say I'm for them, but I'm, I'm you know, I'm not one to go against the law because it fits in my criteria. It's just something that I have to abide by. I don't like the idea. I know that there are people that, like this, my gentleman that is in chat. My heart goes out to him. It does. My heart goes out to a lot of the people that are from Jersey that are going to have to suffer because of this. Because what are they going to do? You know, assuming that that 3178, the way that it's written now, does not change, there's going to be a lot of pissed off people in New Jersey. A lot. I could essentially take it and move it to a different state. I could. I guess we'll have to see what happens. I, I don't know if I'm prepared for that because I'm very comfortable where I'm at right now. And I'm not trying to be a negative Nancy about it. It's just that if that's what's gonna happen, that's what's gonna happen. There's nothing that I, I can scream and rant all damn day, but if nothing changes, I wasted all that energy on what? There's no, there's no loopholes. There's as much as I would love to tell you that you could do this, that would change. You could do flavor shots. It's a, it's a very gray area. Retail industry is a very, very rough one. And, and, and competing with all the online shops that do, do wholesale pricing for everybody makes it very difficult to keep the doors open. And the harder that they make it for people to acquire the products, the more that they're going to go venture back into smoking cigarettes, dipping, chewing, whatever it is that they do, their vice, so to speak. It's them that's going to suffer. It's not me. I mean, I mean yeah, I'm going to suffer because there's a lot of money here. A lot. Probably a number that I would not want to say out loud because it would be almost embarrassing. I guess it really boils down to is what is signed into law. Again, there's a point where you have to draw a line in the sand, right? 
There's a point like with the drama on my channel or me getting pissed off at a device. There's a point where I draw a line in the sand. That doesn't mean that I change for the worse. That means that I've just went down a different path and that's the path that I have to go down. Not by choice, but by force. A lot of people that are very quick to say, oh, you should do this or you should do that, don't experience it firsthand. No matter what I do, I get flack either way. And I'm not asking for empathy or sympathy in any stretch of the means. And it's not like I failed you, New Jersey failed you. There's a big difference there, a big difference. Listen, I'm not gonna stop doing reviews. They will still come. Nothing has changed. The only thing that has changed is half of you fuckers don't even care about is that fake life will close. <laughs> I say it with laughter. I don't know, I, I got nothing. I got, what am I gonna do, cry about it? What does that achieve? Sadness. I've dealt enough of that shit. 2020 is supposed to be new, right? Maybe this is that new leaf that was flipped over. I don't know. Maybe that it'll go into law and they'll just remove mint. Right. And maybe I'll grow a vagina tomorrow. I think it's crazy that it's just attacking retailers, really. New Jersey is even banning non-nicotine juice in an e-liquid container. So whatever, this. Anything that would be inside of this, that's, that's just one example, is banned. All the juices on the shelf, banned. Banned from selling, I should say, because people are gonna take that too literal. What I fear is that some places may take their inventory and still sell them, ignoring the law. While you may get away with that with the federal side, I know that sounds crazy, right? Federal versus state. I know that sounds crazy. State, you're not gonna get away with it. I've had state in here so much, that now when people come in with a folder, I just give them the licenses. That's it. <laughs> if you come in here with a trapper keeper, you're getting everything. Here's the receipts. Here's the licenses. Here's this. Here's Jay's driver's license. You should be good to go. Yeah. Okay. Thanks. See you in six days. That's basically how it goes down. Have you tried consulting a lawyer about what is what a possible loophole is? Can be. Maybe there is. No. Uh, Ahmed, I have not. Not until there's a final draft. Yeah, not until it is final and then, you know. I just have a feeling by the 14th of January, everything will be shut off. Do a massive sale. Now everybody's listening. Yeah, now everybody, everybody's tuning in now. Oh, shit. Dollar Juice. You got free mods? You got free mods? Oh, my God. You got free mods? You got free mods? Free mods? You got free mods? You got free mods? Who's got free mods? <laughs> I'm not farewell. Vape life is farewell. Jay Hayes is separate from vape life. Yeah, this the se <laughs> separate entities. Badass, dead ass. Like <laughs> I love this story. <laughs> well, I love this story too, but listen, if a if a ship is sinking, this captain ain't going down with it, okay? I am the first motherfucker to jump inside of one of those little orange donuts. I don't need that. I'll swim for a little bit. Maybe I'll find a door um, and float on that for a little bit. But, but then you'll freeze anyway. I'll, yeah, well, at least I've lived it up and got frostbite on the toes. I could say that I've experienced cold water. The status is hot. It's hot. Well, it's hot in a sense that it goes to Assembly, House, Senate. And if they merge the House and Senate, then the governor signs off on it. Then that's it. That's the situation. So it is. it is hot. It is live for January 9th. Oh, I'll tell you this, Scott. Uh, this all goes down. You best believe I'm suing the state. That's not a threat either. Like that, that, I'll be that guy. Yup. Internet sensation Jay Hayes takes the whole state of New Jersey to court regarding e-cigarette regulation. Yeah, I see that on the news. You don't think there'll be lawsuits like other states to get it reinstated until the PMTAs at least? No, I think there will be, Richie. I think there will be. I, I don't want us to get too far ahead of itself. It's just that I have too much vested interest in it to not say that something is going to happen. No, you will not be able to buy coils and cotton from New Jersey vape stores if this goes through. Anything that is related to any part or piece to a vape product, you'd have to go to CVS to buy cotton coils. You would have to make them your own or buy them from online somewhere. All right, so that's the update. So if I find out anything else, I'm sure I'll go live and let you guys know. I'll see you on... Uh, Crowdcast. That's where we're going. You guys be good. Stay in the loop. Catch you on the flip flop. I'm sure I'll have news probably tomorrow or maybe in an hour. There'll be something. 
I don't even know anymore.